Well, apparently I've just found out that just the cushion cloths have been changed. So the bed of the table will play it the way it has been. The best safety from Ronnie there. Got the bump on the middle pocket. Excellent cue in front <laughs> from Neil Robertson. Four. Five. In fact, there's a couple of them is available. He might just be okay. Twenty. Having to go away from the black here. But uh, twenty-seven needs to pull up a little bit. That's okay. He went delicately in the red. Thirty-two. She's managed to 32. do one already by his demeanour in this joke. Just got to try and, if he can get straight on this, it'll be absolutely perfect. 38. Not straight, so just wondering what he's going to do here. This is not straightforward. He might, yeah. 39. Yeah, in and out of the book area. I think those two reds that are near the black definitely pot. And he couldn't have hit that much better. That was a lovely 44. shot. Really well controlled. 45. 51. Many a time in commentary say about Steve Davis, used to be brilliant winning the opening frame. It's very important just to let your opponent know you're here to play. A double if he's going to have a chance of a century. Neil Robertson, well, no century break, and but uh, what a start from the Australian. Obviously, that red on the left hand side is the one he's got to keep covered. So, a cue ball virtually in the same place he played from should be ideal. And mm. well, he hasn't done that. He could finish on the pink here if he hits the reds. One. He hasn't had much table time. That's the key when that was. Seven. Well, it does. 14. The pink does pass that red by the looks of things. Well, maybe not. Otherwise, he would have played it. He did look at it, so... No, no way that pink would go there. 20. So another good medium-range pot. No. Hit it lovely. 26. Three reds below the pink. Two of the bottom ones definitely pot now. Straight away, that's where he is. 30. 31. He's making a terrific job of this. Didn't look to be many points available to him when he came to the table. The balls are all tied up. It's very skillful 37. indeed. 37. Now if he's straight. Now he's got a slight angle. Both the reds might pot one next to the pink. And the one below it may do so. 42. 43. Packed house at the Alexander Palace and everyone watching at home. We just wanted to see both these players. There's always 50. something a bit special about England playing Australia at any sport. So, 56. 59 on, lead is 60, so just make sure of this red. 57. Absolutely wonderful break this. Absolutely brilliant break. 63. Neil's having a look. Ronnie Sullivan, 63. And he's and he's to the referee, but that's enough. 
And so Ronnie Sull Sullivan has returned the compliment. He got one chance and he made enough to win the frame. Great stuff, one each. Hmm. At the red, but no great pace on the cue ball there. Don't think he'll play the pot on this. No. It was a very thin clip and he didn't fancy playing the pot there, Ronnie, so. Oh, that's the first mistake. And you know what, Dennis? That's, even though you're as good as O'Sullivan, that's your award for the last shot. One. So, I think that's out of commission, Eight. but there's, uh, let's Nine. see, four, there's five reds. Six. 22. 23. That safety exchange from the both players. It was Ronnie who forced that mistake from Neil. 29. Not great to play against with any other chair, but 30. when you watch him and he's in there and he's fully focused on what he's doing and, and he wants to win the match, he's very special to watch. 36. 37. There's playing into a gap there and that's judged to perfection 43 so he's going to need 44. one more of the difficult reds just the one more that's available and that's all he'll need 50 51 ahead that's 52 51. ahead with 51 remaining wonderfully constructed this is the pink. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 51. Mm, and the fact that that pink came down and just made a little panel on the black has opened up the two reds, so Neil will definitely be carrying on. One. Yeah, big shot this, really. You just get position. He is on one, Three. but can he get any position off this red? No good, that one. You have to play something a bit special. I'll tell you what, what a method that is. I mean, that is as good a positional shot as you'll ever see. Loads of topspin there. That was a bit special. Well, you don't see a better shot play today than that one. That was absolutely fabulous. Yeah, played that just to try and clear the black spot. 11. Yes, in a perfect world, he'd like to get half ball off 12. the blue and come down and split the pack up with the black, but he's just the wrong side there. All right, just look at the cue par of the Australian there. Loads of top spin and left-hand side, but he's going to finish a bit close to the cushion. That could 17. be the end of break. What is a push up? But the player normally would walk away from the table and declare it. You know yourself if you pushed it. But look at this for a safety. Let me try to hit cushion first and swing the cue around the angle. But it was very, very difficult. One. He's the wrong side of the blue. He's got to get a lot of action on this. Let's just have a look at this. No, he had an angle, so he didn't have to screw it back. Yeah, mid-session interval coming up after this frame. No. Both players got one chance. Ten. This is the key shot for the frame. A big chance. And it's in. So no real reason now, from this position, why he should win this frame. And as you say, just because it's awkward frames don't mean they're not important, does it, Dennis? They're all the same. They all count for one. 47. 
Doesn't matter about that. 47. Ronnie's on his way out of the arena. So a couple of awkward frames, two very good opening frames, and we go to the mid-session interval, two frames each. I'm talking about intriguing. It's always that to listen to Barry Hearn. When I said the mid-session interval might change things around, have a look at that for an opening pot. It's a natural angle to split the pack, but I'm sure he won't play that. Want the loose red there. This opens the black up. Five. Play up for the blue this time. Six. Still a few reds available, but uh, if he wants to... We'll go into the pink. It's the sort of shot that Ronnie would play himself. No, he's going to play for the loose ones. The one at the back of the pack, if he gets on that in a few shots, Ty, John Lenny can open the reds. Yes, Dennis, he may play in a way for that as well, that he leaves the cue ball low. There's the shot he's got now. Generally, the players play the screw 19. back, but he can either power it through and hopefully bring a few reds more into play. Mm. 20. A lot more pressure on this shot than it should have been. Excellent. 27. 28. 35. Thirty-six. Still a couple more reds available 43. after this one. Forty-four. He might fifty-one. Leave himself on the black to cannon into the reds. Fifty-two. Yeah, he wants to cannon the red that's in the middle there. But he wanted to play that with a bit of screw. Fifty-nine. He needed to have a bit of screw on it, so when he cannon that, he come away towards the left-hand side of the table there, but he just stunned it in. Well, it's far from being safe against an opponent like Ronnie O'Sullivan. I mean, he could possibly take a pot on, but he's going to need swan the swan neck, I think he's this asking one. for. We've got three types okay. of spider under the table there. This one, yeah? That's the extended spider. There you go. I mean, he can play this as a shot to nothing, but it's awkward queuing. I mean, he's going to need the extension on his queue. He won't be able to really see the shot because he's so far away from it. He'll just have to judge it. I mean, it helps that he's just over six feet tall. So, you play the pot and play the safety shot also. Awkward. <laughs> yes, very difficult that shot. 59. Certainly striking down as well and also trying to get some safety with it. It's one of those shots back then, where if you play all out for the pot, you've got a better chance, haven't you? There's the first part. One. Couldn't be better, John. Even the one next to the pink Eight. will be available. Because <coughs> as he pots the red, they're clearing the path for another. Bit straight on the black, but no problem. A little bit of reverse side here. What's the white just spin off the cushion to the right? Oh, hang on. What has he played there? 16. Well, it was a careless shot, the one before. But listen, he's got such a margin for error here and just over hit that. It's a lively cloth, but that was poor. Now, can he cut this one in? I mean, what a shot this would be. So 
So that on your Sullivan, excellent 16. opportunity has disappeared rapidly. One. Very interesting Five. to see how that affects uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's looked Six. very focused this afternoon, but inside he will be seething at what he's just done. Eleven. Twelve. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Complete contrast to the two frames before the mid-session interval, which lasted for just over twenty-nine and almost twenty 35. minutes. Thirty-seven. This has been going, well, less than 12 minutes. 40. <laughs> A little bit of 44. an exhibition shot. So much side on that there. Looked like the white was going to stop near the cushion behind the black, and then the side just spun it up the table. 49. And there's another exhibition shot from the Australian. 55. 55. And is that in? Yes. 62 in the frame. Two visits. Neil Robertson. An earlier break of 59. Ronnie had a chance to counter-attack. He didn't take it. And Neil cleared up to 62. The Australian leads three frames to two. 59 there. So he appears to be in good stroke again. Just this containing escape off the side cushion, which could have been judged a little better. Well, he holds his hand up. And that's another careless one from Ronnie. It's just can't keep presenting opportunities. Not that this is a gimme by a long stretch. I think he can drop on the black, you know. He can just come round in between the red and the black there. Well, decided that that was a little bit risky, what? but he's the wrong side of the blue. Looked as if he could possibly have held for the black. Six. I'm going to have to swing this around the angles again to leave pink or blue. Seven. You know, that's such a good shot. You can show that beautifully. Now, how's your look? Pretty good. Twelve. Thirteen. Just okay. I thought that red was going to block the path for the blue. Nineteen. And there's the shot in the middle pocket. Just it's the far jaw. And instead of it being your opportunity, it's gone to Ronnie. Twenty-two. 23. Pink out of commission, black a little awkward. I'm not sure if it's available into the right corner, but he's got the perfect angle on the blue to get back. The black's available. Needs to be straight on this red so that he can roll it in. 28. You'll have to wait for another chance. Back up for the blue again here. 29. 
29. A little bit pacey this time, so a slight change of plan again. It's either being a little pacey just in case, you know, if you, you can end up on a ball colour instead. Oh, you don't want to be missing the green. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 29. Wow. If he's not got position, he's been very lucky. <laughs> oh, that's a poor attempt of getting the cue ball in the book area. Not left anything, but given Ronnie an easier comeback. Not the best, because you can't afford to leave Neil Robertson. One. Oh, and that's a useful cannon on the blue. Let me show you this terrific long pot again. And we'll settle for that. Five. I have to say, Dennis, Ronnie O'Sullivan's looking second best in this match. Green off the spot that you wouldn't expect him to miss ever. Six. Thirteen. Forty. Twenty-one. I don't know whether he can bring any reds out. Yes, he could 22. just force through and bring the single red out. What have done with getting a little bit more side on that. He may have to go way up the table. If the blue's available, he can play on that. 30. 30. Yeah, that's the angle he has if he wants to play into the pink. He's just looking at the single red, but he's got a couple of options here. Yeah, don't blame him there. I think if he can yep. pop this red and, well, I think he might have the cue ball to go a little further. Yeah, I think it was a little awkward for him. The white was a bit too close to the cushion to risk. Oh, it didn't cue that well. Neil Robertson, 35. needs to open up and land on one and he'd be a massive favourite in this frame. Six. Yeah, it's nice to have Seven. plenty of enthusiasm but just shouting out at the wrong time can put the player off. 14, 15, 22, 23. Neil Robertson will be sitting in his chair kicking himself about the red that he missed. Just needs 13. to make sure of the green. 33. And a good response 37. from Ronnie. 42. 48. Well, the Australian Neil Robertson from his a chance there to open up a two frame advantage. He didn't take it. Ronnie O'Sullivan took his chance. We're all square. No, it's the angle like he's left for Neil. Well, you never know where the red that you play is going to go. He's decided to play the safety shot. And a good one it was as well. It's 
find the gap. And is he going to finish on the green? One. I mean, if he really powers the green, then he's left-handed, so he might be able to reach around his... Green ball. I think he's trying to get him behind it, just cushion first. Neil Robertson won. <laughs> he had to use the jaw of the pocket and just misjudged it slightly. This is a similar sort of shot for Ronnie. Neil found the gap. Where will the cue ball go this time? They say you make your own luck, you deserved it after that pot. And that was brilliantly, brilliantly struck and controlled. Seven. Eight. Perfect. Thirteen. Fourteen. Twenty-one. Still got that one red at the back of the bunch that's available to him. Now let's see how he gets onto that red. He's left it in such a way that he can develop a few more, but twenty-nine. Make sure he doesn't lose position though. 30. Uh, played. played a bit of stumbling through here. Just in there. Just kept the cue ball running through. So one good bit of cue in here. And that's exactly what you got. That was beautifully struck as well. 37. Forty-two. Forty-three. He's looking at the single red on the right-hand side that's above the pink. Thinking about coming around the angles off the brown, so... He's trying to guarantee position here as opposed to taking a chance. 40. Well, he took too long on that. Is he going to fluke it? Surely he's not going to fluke it down. Well, Neil, no reaction from Neil, but that is one of the biggest flukes you could ever wish to see. He couldn't make 47. his mind up. He wanted to well, take the ball and play a little you. cannon. He didn't want to risk that, and in the end... He got down and just missed the brown by a long way, but how did he fluke it into that corner pocket? And is this a plant as well? Well, now he's just played a few strange Will shots. Sullivan, 47. It's as if he lost his concentration somewhat. I mean, he just got down. Quietly, please. I mean, the plant, if the plant was on, you don't just get down and hammer it like that. It's like as if he felt guilty for getting the fluke. One. Well, it might come back to haunt him, the way he played that plant there. Sure. But, I mean, just to hit it that hard didn't give it the chance. This was amazing. He just couldn't make his mind up, and in the end, missed it by a long way. Six. Anyway, meanwhile, this is not a straightforward chance for Neil Robertson. Okay, he's left-handed, so there's two reds on the left-hand side cushion. Thirteen. Fourteen. Has the option here. He could play this firmly and try and flick the red out, or he can drop him behind it. I was thinking he could have played it nice and firm and moved it.
Thank you. 22. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Mm, not the best position I shot that he was ever played. If he was on the black, he could have definitely played that firm and tried to flick that red out. I know he's left-handed, but that's a tricky shot where that is. It's halfway up the cushion. So, anyway, to be negotiated 30. later, we'll soon find out. Thirty-three. Oh, he's got a slight angle on the black. He's left-handed. It's not the perfect angle. He'd have to really power this in. And he certainly powered it in, but not quite far enough. So it looks like it'll Thought. have to be a safety. And Ronnie will be relieved because that was a great effort to bring that into play. Neil Robertson. Ford. So, still in the balances. Frame. This is a little bit pacey. Oh, the blue. The blue has come to his rescue there. Yes, Neil raised his eyebrows slightly there, walking towards the com box. There we go. <laughs> Where he's going to hit the red, he could be knocking it towards the yellow pocket. So he was in a lot of trouble there, and he'll take that. He hasn't hit it hard enough. He's missed a trick there. I see that the ties, you know, the back to wearing normal ties, and you could see Neil pulling at the tie. That's why we used to wear bow ties even during the day, because... A normal tie gets in your way slightly. Oh, that's right over the pocket. One. Do not put the object ball over the middle pocket. Overhit that, and now it's going to be awkward because he needs the brown also. Might just be able to cue past the blue, but he could miss this if he hits it too hard. No. Yeah, I was about to say, Dennis, one thing that worked in his favour there. Well, one good long pot, and we're right down the line of the shot. It's there. 16. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 16. And concentration, but Neil needs a snooker. Did that previously in the match when he missed a pink in the middle and then had to wait for another 10 minutes. He didn't mean to pop that. <laughs> He's looking blind. <laughs> didn't plan to pop that. I'll tell you what, it's a pretty good Neil effort Robertson, if the pink five. pulls up. It just ran a bit too far, but it wasn't a bad effort. In or over is how you play that shot. Six and four, it's in. And it's in. It's a frame either player could have won, but in the end, Ronnie O'Sullivan, he'll be absolutely delighted. He gets himself into a four frames to frame three. Eight league. of a possible 11.
one. Well, that was what we call an Aussie special. Six. And six. He knocked in an unbelievable opening red. How do you see him missing one like that? His concentration levels is not quite as high as what it usually is. That's the only thing you can say. Yeah. Ronnie's turn to sense weakness in his opponent. Eight. Nine. Yeah, I agree with Stephen Hendry. It's probably one of the sixteen. One of the worst matches, although it's still very, very exciting. Seventeen. But no century break. Yeah, very similar to yesterday's match with Mark Selby and Mark Williams. Played some fantastic match play. Oh, what's going on here at the minute? What is going on? 24. Are we now at the stage where both players are maybe trying that a little bit too hard? Well, he got a heavy yeah. contact there. One. Okay, the red's gone in, but it spoiled the positional side of the shot. Blue. This is a big shot to take on. Wow. <laughs> and to do it after the disappointment of the kick and the loss of position is fabulous. Six. Think he's still keen Seven. on winning this match, Dennis, after that shot? As I say, they both want it so badly. Fourteen. Fifteen. And that's gone wrong. It's amazing. I was just about to say, with these players, you normally expect them 22. to win a frame with one visit. But what's been happening here, there's all sorts of little things going on. And there's another one where it's ran onto the red and out of position. So we may have lost position there, but the way his long potting has been, this will be going in. 23. Got a chance here. He could pot the yellow off the side cushion and into the pack, and the red over the middle pocket would be there as well. well. That's what he played, but he hit that so badly he was nowhere near it. Twenty-five. Neil Robertson, twenty-five. No. Twenty-five for Neil, but he'd be kicking himself that shot off the yellow. Yeah, it's such a margin for error there. Well, he thought he could pop that. Uh, the white needs to keep running, otherwise he's left it. Yeah, I think he can get past the blue. That's one. Just someone shouted out there, get in before the white got near the red. We don't need anyone like that shouting while the player's playing the shot because it'll put the player he's supporting off. Six. Well, Quiet, the last one he got, Dennis, but he should be taking this one. Listen, you get enough bad luck at times in a game. If you get a fluke like this, 14. Listen, why not take full advantage? Uh, 
Listen, I'm with you on it. You get a fluke, you make sure that you get the most of it. You see, it's the jaws and then it sort of hits the cushion and because it's 22. got side on. Oh, they get a flick off the brown. Wow. 23. That brown's been pretty good actually, isn't it? But what a fluke that was. 30. 31. Oh, he didn't play that too well. Uh, he's just battling himself a little bit at the moment. You can see the abject disappointment on his face when he loses position. Absolutely good. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to Ronnie's World. <laughs> 37. Yeah, for all the great play and misses and bad safeties and great safeties, you can't beat a little bit of luck. And what a fluke that was. 44. 45. Still the same Neil Robertson, very focused, great temperament, but... That was hard to take because it means now that he's going to have to win the last three 52. frames. He's quite capable of doing 54. that. He will stay in his seat or he might leave the arena just to compose himself, but it doesn't matter about the green. 54 and that was an unbelievable finish that Ronnie O'Sullivan got. And no wonder he's leaving the arena. Ronnie, a bit short with the break-off shot. Could do with the long pot here. Terrific opener. Four. Five. And I'd be absolutely disgusted with that. You can see him turn his head away because the one thing he didn't Ten. want to do was come low. It's very tight. Uh, Stephen mentioned, didn't he, in the studio that I'm struggling for positional play today. Another example. Another example. New Robertson, 10. I didn't expect the pocket one. to accept the Brian was asking something. Foul. Oh, he's fouled it. Ronnie O'Sullivan four. Jan Verhaas was looking and he thought he was okay, but he touched it with his sleeve. Yeah, bad news on the foul. Four. Good news was that red came across and hit the black and didn't leave one on. Could have been all bad for Neil there. Don't mind him missing it all together with the oh, first attempt. Miss. No. And referee Jan Verhaas will now warn right. Oh. Gonna have to warn you, Ronnie. Okay, you've got eight of red this time. And the tip. The last thing you want to do is miss Q. Wow! Well, in One. the end, it was a terrific safety shot he played, <laughs> but he Finally, please. hasn't reacted. But he, he couldn't stop smiling there. It, uh, it looked. 
from that that he, oh, he must have tried the plant. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Dennis, this is a big shot to take on. On your set of them, one. Well, you were right, John, it was a big shot. One. Don't be giving too many chances to someone like... Neil Robertson, he was in the jaws of the pocket. It was so close, but very tough shot he took on there. Yeah, it's not a brilliant chance, this. Black currently is out of commission. Six. Pink certainly is. Seven. Well, he's looking at the blue to the middle pocket. This is a thin cut, and he'll go into the pink and reds. It'll open the game up. Foul. That's a bit unlucky. New it was a very seven. thin snake required. Sullivan five. But to go in off was very unfortunate indeed. If Ronnie can pop this and come through, and he's got pink or blue that's available. Well, he should have had. What he needs to do is get that focus back that he had at, had at the start of the match. He has to be careful with, don't hit the bump in the middle pocket either. As he covered it. That was just a containing safety yeah, tough shot these yeah not surprised he missed it actually foul and a miss now it's foul. Neil Robertson's turn to and be miss. warned I've got to warn you Neil you've got to hit a red this time okay Yeah, Played that with a load of check side, just to straighten the cue ball up. Well, this is very delicate. It's not going to reach. So, and a miss. Has he done the same thing again? And then... Foul. And a miss. You've got to warn you again, Neil. Okay, if you play the miss, you'll lose the fray. Yeah, and the match. Foul. Oh. Well, the miss is up at the table. He's given a fall away seven points, but, the, but uh, some of the balls were very awkward, but have a look at how they've split up. One. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. I mean, before this match started, we were thought we were going to be in for century breaks 25. flying in all over the place, but... Thirty-two. Ronnie's highest break has 33. been 63, Neil's 74, but I'll tell you what, there's been lots of 50s and... 
forties and misses. We've had a bit of everything. Forty. It's actually been difficult to commentate on because we haven't known what's going on occasions. We didn't know people looking like they're going to clear up and then poor position. And That's the frame and the match secure. Neil Robertson 46. had a chance to go 4-2 in front. And for me, that was the big, big turning point in the match. The crowd here at Alexander Palace have been very, very 54. fair to both players. A lot of Ronnie fans here, but 55. Neil Robertson's had terrific support also. Just looked as if he had lost a little bit of focus. Ronnie was very up for the start 60. of the match, but just seemed to lose his way towards the end. And probably because he set such a high standard. 61. Interesting. Well, you'd be delighted. Damien Hurst there, his good friend. Be interesting to hear what Ronnie has to say about this match. 68. But the winner hadn't been the highest caliber. Both players, big smiles from each other. It's been a fascinating tussle between these two great players. But there, Ronnie acknowledges the crowd, and he'll be absolutely delighted. And in the end, it was a comfortable win, 6-3 for the Rocket. You know, hopefully it'll turn around, and if it don't, then I'll do what these guys do. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more punditry work. I tell you, everybody needs a bit of luck, and, and you had a couple of oh, places. Oh, I had loads of it, I? I, I, had more, I had more luck today than I felt I had in like last. Yeah. I needed a bit of luck today to get through.